Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back in my normal bedroom and as you can see I have a new bed and a new duvet and therefore a new duvet set. Um, so yeah, today as you can read I'm doing an unhaul. Basically I have moved a lot of stuff back and there's a lot of books that I've got and so I decided do you know what I'm gonna look through my bookcase that I've got at home and see what books I can get rid of I was thinking you know what I'll probably get rid of like three four and that'll be it um I have 30 books here that I am getting rid of so I'm gonna go through them explain my reasoning and yeah so the first book that I'm getting rid of is Winter Weepies um, I have had this for years. Um, this is a collection of short stories. When was this published? It was published in 1996 by Scholastic Children's Books. So, um, apparently this is a children's book. It's just definitely not. This is, um, a collection of romances. Um, yeah. I... There's a few that are like this. I probably have read a short story in here, but honestly, they're just, I'm not going to pick them up. So let's get rid. I'm going in no particular order, by the way. Next book is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. I'm, I haven't read this. I, as you can see, it's very much in pristine condition. I asked for this one Christmas, um, when was this published? I think it must have been around the time, the same year it was like released or something. 2018, I must have got this in 2018. Um, I bought this, I don't know whether I realised that it was a screenplay, um, I know it says original screenplay on it, but in terms of like, I expected it to be a actual story. Um, and honestly, I'm just, I'm not going to read a screenplay. It's not the format that I want to read books in. It Honestly, it just takes me back to English in secondary school. Like, no. Um, so, I don't need this. You can go. Next book is Puppy Party by Anna Wilson. Honestly, this is YA. I don't know whether I've read this, probably not based on the fact that the spine isn't correct. Um, this is definitely YA, um, like proper young. Um, and although I will read some YA stuff, I just know that this isn't my thing anymore. Um, and so I am getting rid of it for that reason. Um, just not my thing anymore. What book have I picked up next? The next is Caught by Harlan Coben. I have read this book, I don't know when, um, honestly I don't remember the book at all, apart from the fact that the name rings a bell enough for me to know that I've read it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. My nana might have read this, if she hasn't, it can go to her for her to read, if not she can just take it to the, like if she has read it, it can go to the charity shop. Um, yeah that's the thing these books they're just gonna go to the charity shop there's no point in me keeping them although i do think there's a book the odd book missing because i feel like i own there's a book in here where there's like a final book and i feel like i own another book in this series and it's somewhere like i own the first book and i know exactly where that is but i feel like i own some another one in the series but I have no clue where it is. Um, so we will find that at some point. Then the next book is It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Now I'm not getting rid of this due to the whole hate. I'm getting rid of this because I have It Ends With Us in paperback and I want to purchase the paperback version. These are the only two Colleen Hoover books that I will physically own. I do have I think it's Layla that's on Kindle um, just because 
it's one of her different ones i don't know whether it's layla might be actually um just because it's a different one but anyway basically i just want to buy the paperback version and i know i can pick it up for a fiver in tesco so i know that i would be supporting colleen hoover but i'm not actively going out of my way and purchasing it but i did enjoy these two books um i'm not romanticizing anything about them like they are problematic i just i just enjoyed them when i read them and i think like a lot of people they were what got me back into reading um so yeah getting rid but just to get paper back then the next book is good as dead by mark billingham um i don't remember um, anything about this book but i do know that i've read it because yeah i just i know i've read it like it um, especially because there is like a dog here like the evidence of a dog here on one of those pages so actually yeah i don't remember anything about this book then the next book i'm getting rid of is demeanor by ls hilton this was an okay book i don't know what i rated it um the fact is, is this is actually a sequel book um and i didn't read the first the sticker does actually come off i just haven't removed it so maybe i should do that before i get rid of it um i just it didn't encapsulate me there are books that i've read in there that i am keeping that's just not one of them um then the next book is last to die by tess gerritsen i enjoy these books i just I think it's been so long that I don't remember it and actually and the thing is, is there are dog ears in here like I have dog ears chapters um but honestly and like I know I enjoyed it at the time it's just I am not interested in reading them again and yeah I don't know where the next dog ear is but I know that I have like my nana, if my nana has read this book, she would not dog ear a page. Um, but I do. So imagine if I haven't actually read this book and no, because I swear to God. Okay, I found another dog ear. So yes, I have definitely read this book. Um, <laughs> I was like, um, I saw an early one, um, but I did read it. I just I don't remember anything about it. So it's going. Then I've got Deadfall by Joan Locke. This is a Victorian mystery. Um, I'm just not interested in reading it. I think, I don't know why I have it actually. Um, I don't know how I got it. I've had it for years. What year was this published? It's been years. This was first published in 2005. I'm just not interested in reading it so it can go into someone better, in all honesty. Um, then I've got Between Friends by Audrey Howard. This is a, this is a historical fiction. Um, I don't know how I got this book actually. Um, I really don't. It must have been like free ones or something, I don't know. Um, this is historical fiction and it's just about friends. Um, and like there's potential romance between them honestly i don't know why i have it i'm not interested in reading it um then i have one december day by rachel marks i read this back in december um i did include it in a reading vlog i think um i think it was my like trying to finish all of my romance like my christmas ones before i don't know what vlog it was in um i just did not like this basically this follows like one day each year over a, I think it's like over 15 years um this book format just did not work for me um I didn't enjoy it and I kind of I knew back then that I was going to get rid of it I just brought it back here to eventually get rid of but in like a shorter term then the next thing I'm getting rid of is a French to English dictionary. Um, do not speak French. I think this was bought just before year seven when I was convinced I was going to end up being going to be doing French. 
um, as like my language. Um, I did not, I think there's a Spanish one somewhere, that'll, that'll go as well. Um, yeah, self-explanatory really. Then I'm getting rid of From Potter's Field by Patricia Cornwell. I enjoyed this book. Um, I just, I don't remember much about it anymore and honestly, it can go. And I might have read it, she might not. We'll see. Um, then I'm getting rid of Virals by Kathy Reichs or Reeks, I don't know. Um, I enjoy her books. Um, I did enjoy this book a lot when I read it. Um, and I was definitely umming and ahhing over this one. I have read Code, which is the third book. Um, yeah, I've kind of skipped book two and whatever's in between. Um, and overall, they are all right. Okay, I'm now questioning whether I get rid of this one. I won't be reading any more in the series because book three just, it was okay. Okay, maybe I might. You know what? No, we're getting rid of it. Then I have The Love Collection by, it's another, there's three hot romances. Um, same thing as Winter Weepies, this can just go, look how yellow, you can't really see it on camera. Um, yeah, this was probably done in 1997, like this edition. Um, so these are old. Again, I think I got them from my mum. Then I'm getting rid of Divergent by Veronica Roth. I got two thirds of the way through this book and then I think I watched the movie and I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine. Um, and I have no interest of actually watching the movie since then. Um, I think I must have watched it in cinema. Um, nothing to do with the movie cover. I'm um, just, I got to the end and I'm like, yeah. Um, so there's no point in me keeping it. Then I'm going to read Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I own Twilight, the first book. I do want to read it. I have seen the works does have some that are available, so I might just purchase the whole set um, that way. I swear to God I have Eclipse somewhere. I swear to God. I know it's somewhere. Um, and when I do find it, I will get rid of it. Um, I just, I don't know where it is. Um, I wasn't going to look too hard in the cupboard though. Um, if it was paperback, I'd be more interested in reading it, but actually, I'm just not a hardback girl. At least not, well, I say that and when I've bought hardback books, but I think there's certain books I'm like, I'm happy to have it in hardback and whatnot. Um, I'm like, I'll buy it specifically in hardback. Um, but Twilight is just not one of those ones that I'm interested in owning in hardback. Um, and then I'm getting rid of It's My Party by Cindy Blake. I don't think I've read this book. Um, this just isn't my thing. And it's like, yeah, it's like a romance that's like questionable between, in terms of like the girl's motives and like the guy and his relationship status. Um, yeah, then I'm getting rid of Absolute Proof by Peter James. This one was an okay read. I just didn't. I remember thinking, reading it and thinking and finding it like a chore. Um, so it can go. Someone else can enjoy it better. Maybe my Nana. I don't know. Um, then I'm getting rid of Surprising Joy by Valerie Bloom. I have no clue what this is about. Um, a power girl whose mum said that she's happy for her to come to the UK. Um, I I got this from my secondary school. Um, I was just picking up books thinking this looks good. I have not read this book. I have had no interest in reading this book. Honestly, I found this at literally the last minute. Saw it in like a box. As I was like, oh, I wonder what's in this box. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is going. Um, it's just not something that I read, honestly. Nothing to do with the actual like story type. Just at the same time, it's not something I'm 
I'm I just know I'm not gonna end up reading it. Um then I need to get all three of these in. Then I'm getting rid of the Maze Runner series. Um I read some of this book. I don't know how much of it for the movie. Um movie loop was okay, it's not my thing. Um I did consider keeping the first book. Um just because but I do like I do know the over Okay, now I'm questioning it. To be fair, you know what? If I want to read it, I can read it on Kindle. Um, but yeah, then there's just books two and three. I think I must have got these on for free or something. Um, I don't know how I got them. This is definitely bought as like the movie edition. Um, but yeah, if I ever fancy reading it, I'll buy it on Kindle. Um, because then I won't physically own it. And I won't. But again, I'd only buy it on like 99p. Um, then I'm getting rid of Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. Um, this is a big book fantasy. Um, I think again, I just found this a chore to get through. It was like I think I remember it was okay. Um, but and I think it's part of a series. But I'm just not interested in continuing, and it's just a chunky book to be honest. Um, then I'm getting rid of Marley and Me. Um, I've not read this book but I have seen the movie, obviously cried at the end of the movie. I don't have interest in reading the book um, when I fully know like the ending. <laughs> That's the actual Marley. Oh. Um, but yeah, I've seen the movie again. I don't know how I ended up with this book. Did I get it from my... I was going to say, did I get it from my secondary school? I don't know. Um, we all know how this ends. I And so because of that, I had always put off reading it. And I think... And so thinking about it, I think now this would hit me even deeper. Having lost Max my nana's dog back in January like this would just hit so hard and this hit hard when I watched it and I was probably like 10 when I watched it so um I just can't I just I can't I'm sure it's a beautiful book but I can't um then I'm getting rid of Headhunters by Joe Nesby it was an okay book I just yeah did not encapsulate me at all <sighs> then Summer Sizzlers, same reason, short stories. When was this one? Was this the same year? 1995. He's old. Old, old. Then I'm getting rid of If on a Winter's Night a Traveller. This was okay. I, I got this from my secondary school. Literally the only reason I got it is because of like this and I was like, I need to own something with that edition. Um, like with that kind of covering. Um, this, it was alright, but nothing special for me to keep, um, so it can get donated on. Then I have The Sinner by Tess Gerritsen. Um, again, like the books, I will read more, I will buy more. I just have no interest in keeping them. Then I have Man and Boy by Tony Parsons. I have no clue what it's about. Maybe a man who throw a man who throws away his life um and has to rebuild. Um I don't know. Um I again got this from my secondary school and I have no interest in reading it. I think I was just picking up books for the sake of it from that like shelf like when they were getting rid of them so um yeah this can go I have no interest in reading it and that is all 30 books that I am un unhauling um these will all be donated to a charity shop like they won't go to waste um but it feels good to get them out because I have bought some of my books back so I'm just gonna put them in the bookcase 
um, I'll eventually have to put them back in bags again to move out, but for now, just to clear some space. Um, but yeah, and there's probably more underneath this bed. Like, I can now actually get access stuff underneath, so actually it's going to help me in the long run um, with clearing out stuff, because I can do it passively rather than it having to be like a thing of I need to lift up my bed and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books you've written on unhauled recently, or any books that you think I should haul. To be fair, I do want to haul the natural series. I read books one and two, um, but the th books three and four aren't going on like the one pound Kindle, like the ninety nine p Kindle thing. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to buy the budget. Books to Dove um, does have the whole set for like £21 so I might buy it from there instead just because it's kind of like actually if I can get it cheaper there rather than paying like 35 on Amazon if I can get it cheaper because I do really want to own the books um, but yeah let me know what other books that I should own I do have like 150 unread so got a bit of a backlog but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys